everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have a visitor that you're probably going to see wandering around, hear him panting and everything. There he is right behind me. Um, that's my Jaeger. He, uh, he wants to be with me. He doesn't want to be with me. And you know, there, there comes a point when you just, you got to film and he's just going to have to chill. So we're at that point right now. Anyway, this is um, a pan and everything or hashtag pie. It is a project that I created because I literally want to hit pan in any everything makeup related in my collection that has like a pan, a jar or anything where you can like hit the bottom of it. And um, yeah, so that's what this is about. Our intro was on October 26, 2019. We've been doing it for a while and we're going to continue to do it for a while um, because a lot of us have large collections and we keep getting new things in and gifted things, things for PR, you name it. Um, yeah, uh, our collections, they grow, they multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? And um, so yeah, I, I really want to hit pan in literally everything that I own. I want it to look well loved, well used, abused a little bit and um, you know, like it's not just sitting there collecting dust, doing nothing. I, I want, I want you know, some stuff to happen with my makeup. So that being said, I am going to put everyone that has joined in down below. There is um, a list of people that started this collab with me. And there is um, a list of people that have joined in. If you would like to join in, we would love to have you along this journey. It is, um, you know, it's a lot of fun to pan your stuff. I, not for everyone. No, no. I know you don't like to have pan in your stuff, but... Um, you know, the rest of us, we're, we're crazy like that, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we all, we all have our little differences and that's what makes us beautiful. So anyway, let's get into this. I, I actually have a pan in something and I worked really, really hard on this product. It's been in here for a hot minute. This is the Be A Bombshell Teal Eyeshadow from the Bora Bora Quad actually coordinates with my ring finger there. Do you see the pan in it? Do you see it? Hopefully that is showing up on camera. Um, I used the heck out of this and um, it was actually a very deep shadow. I did like it, but um, after a while, I just, I wanted to move on to different colors. It was too close to blues and I had a lot of blues going on when it was in and um, I'm happy I'm happy there's a little less blue in my day-to-day -day life. So let me show you the four other products that I have in. I am personally doing five at a time. You can do as many or as few as you would like. And hey, mister, what are you doing? What are you doing, handsome? Hi, bud. Sniff, sniff, sniff. You are awful cute. Yes, you are. Sorry, distracted by cute puppy. And he pants, pants a lot. All right, so yeah, as many or as few um, products as you want while you're um, doing this project. I am going to start with the ones that have been in here the longest. I do have a green in here that I, ha I neglect because it's in here and I can't repress it into another pan because it, it will defeat the progress that I've already made on it. I'm actually wearing the green today. It is this shade right here. Hopefully you can see that there is actually a dip in it. And I am going to really try to focus on this shade to hopefully, hopefully hit pan by the next update. I, that's the one that I wanna focus on out of everything that I have here, just because it has been in the longest. And I know if I don't try to focus on it purposely, I'm just going to put this palette away in my um, drawer and I'm going to forget about it. So I really don't want to do that. That one is, um, that one is going to be my priority. All right. The next one that has been the, the next longest one is Sangria. This is from Bare Minerals. Can you see the dip in that one in the center? Yeah, I think this one could potentially be a rollout next time. Um, it's not as thick as um, like if it had been like pressed by the factory in here because um, it was a Bare Minerals that was a slightly smaller eyeshadow because it was um, from a gift set and those are generally not as big as the full sized and um, so it and it had usage so it, there was already some you know usage on that one 
I don't think that one's going to be a problem to have that done by the next update. So potentially, potentially, hopefully, maybe have two of them roll out. And the next two, um, this one is Celadon Green. It's a Coastal Sense Hot Pot. I do actually have this tapped in the center of my lids today. Um, it, it doesn't take much. So this one could potentially take a while. There is a slight dip in it, but um, nothing that is, you know saying it's in imminent danger of hitting pan. So I'm enjoying that one a whole lot. Like I said, I do have that in the midder, in midder, middle, middle of my eyelids today. Wow. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoy that color a whole lot. And um, I'm just going to keep using it. The last one is Coastal Sense. Um, no, not Coastal Sense. Color Pop Super, Super Shock Shadow. Jessica cannot talk today. Let me, get, let me get some tea here. Lemon tea. It's good for you. ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Lady Bird. Much better. Um, this one I am trying to use it evenly because I know that there's that little bump in the middle and I don't want to just hit pan on it um, by pushing product out of the way because it's very malleable. Um, I want it to be evenly worn down so that when I hit pan, it's truly organic pan. And, um, you know, I am not feeling like I need to get this out of a project anytime soon because I just really like it a whole lot. So I am happy with that. Those are the four that are um, continuing on in this project. I do have to roll one in. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm going to, to keep it at five. And what I'm going to roll in is something that's going to be easy to use, very neutral to not conflict, but also coordinate with a lot of the eyeshadows that I currently have in other projects. So I went to my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, and this one is Pecan Praline. And I don't think I have ever used this one. It looks pretty daggone brand new to me. I don't think I've even swatched it. I mean, I might have swatched it, but um, that is the one that I'm going to work on next. And I think this is going to be a nice transition shade for me to work on um, with a lot of my other eyeshadows. So I feel like this was a smart choice to bring this one in. Not that I needed another eyeshadow to be working on right now, but at least it's going to coordinate and um, it's going to play nice with everything else. All right. Um, definitely go check out the other ladies that have joined in. They're going to be listed down below. Again, if you would like to join in, we would love to have you. And I think that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.